Sofia. I am coming from Van. It's a city in eastern side of uh, Turkey. It's like neighbor with Iran. Growing up with a traditional Kurdish family, it was like a, <laughs> a big thing to being able to ride a bike in the streets, you know, freely. I was like doing it secretly. I was stealing my brother's bike and <laughs> trying to learn it <laughs> because it was kind of forbidden for me to ride a bike. So then it was like all exams, high school and everything and university, I just forgot about the bike riding or cycling, pedaling, everything. But it has been a couple months that I have bought my bike uh, because I met with uh, someone in Don Quixote and it was really inspiring what they were they are doing and it's not just cycling they're like as a collective they put it on a, on a political ground so it makes more sense for me so i bought my bike and when whenever i cycle from now on i feel like i'm also doing something uh, political as a feminist as a queer person and <laughs> as someone who is uh, describing themselves as an environmentalist so uh, it really makes sense for me well, yeah, as I said, since it wasn't like um, I am cycling since I was a kid, I had to fight even for that right. <laughs> so it, it makes sense for me, I don't know, cycling. It has a meaning for me. When it comes to critical mass, uh, I didn't know about it. Uh, basically, it has been a month that I am attending to uh, critical mass uh, tours. Uh, as far as I know, uh, it's like a rebellion action for uh, telling people who drive cars that we are also in the traffic and you have to be careful about us. We have our way and people have to uh, be aware of us. So in Istanbul especially, I have been struggling with uh, cycling in the city because sometimes uh, bus drivers are <laughs> really crazy. They don't even care if there's a cyclist or something. And also uh, some motorcycles, some other people, like they, they're just surprised that people are cycling even. So uh, whenever someone uh, sees me in the traffic, I feel like they think of themselves like, okay, in the city there, there are also people who have bikes and they're cycling instead of cars or using um, other transportation, they use, they use bikes. So after experiencing Istanbul from a cyclist eye, uh, sometimes they don't even take our bikes even though regulation says you can have bikes, for example, in the metro or in the bus. But they don't take us, <laughs> they just say, okay, you cannot get on the bus. We say it's in the time frame, we can, but they're just being mean to us. So uh, from now on, I realize even in Turkey, even for, even for cycling, even having our bike, we have to fight with some people to have our rights. So that's why uh, uh, being a part of Don Quixote, it's a, a cycling uh, collective. It really supports my uh, my motivation to, to keep going and cycling, not. Uh, not letting it go, not putting it in the attic and forget about it. I just uh, love being a part of uh, a group who also have the, uh, have the same motivation with me.